it's this is Shivi here and today I will show you how to print a any buffer in the hacks so that you can debug it easily many times we require that we have to print our variables or buffer in the hacks so uh, let's start okay so we will make a function called uh, print hex okay print hex which will take two variables one will be character pointer buff second will be the size of the buffer so these two will be the variables of the or variable so uh, let's say we got the buffer here okay now so for each buff so buffer will having a length so we have to print each and every byte of the buffer so int i equal to zero so we we'll take a variable for our for loop now we will run a for loop here i equal to zero it should be running for the length of the buffer that is nothing but the size size and i plus plus okay so printf what we have to do here percentage x percentage x will print the byte format of a number or whatever you are giving as argument so here our thing is uh, buff which is a pointer to the buffer so this will this will print the uh, hex number of first byte now we have to increment the buffer every time every for every iteration of the loop okay so as many as times this for loop will run buff will increase and our uh, uh, each byte uh, each bytes uh, hex value will be printed here at the end for the convenience we will just print a new line so that it will be clearly visible in the output also we will give some space here so each byte will be printed okay okay so now let's say we have to print a integer value we will take for simple example int let's say x equal to and we will assign its uh, as we will assign a hex value to it so that it will be convenient for us to see the output okay 0 0x let's say 0 1 0 2 0 3 and 0 4 these are the value stored in it okay then we will call our print x function here okay print x so what are the two arguments we we are going to pass one is the character buffer character pointer so our is integer so first of all address of x we will just type cast it to character pointer and size so size of x or simply int also we can write whatever we will say x now let's say what is the output of this uh, program so we will first compile it gcc okay 
so it is giving some warning okay so our name here is incorrect now let's see okay so there's another warning which we can actually okay so here also we are not giving pointer buff that is the issue okay GCC. okay so now no warning now let's see now let's see what is output see our output is four three two one so actually here if you see we have assigned four three two one so actually it starts printing from the first byte first byte is four three two and then one so you can see that it's not printing zero it's printing four three two one because it is ignoring zero so if for example you want to print zero four then it will print only four here okay so if you want to print uh, for example two hex numbers for a byte then you simply put here one two so it will direct the compiler to print the exactly two bytes now let's see what happens Now output is 0, 04, 0, 03, 0, 02, 0, 01. Okay, so you got it. Uh, okay, okay. So uh, now let's take some uh, complex um, example. So instead of integer x, we'll take example of integer array of 2. Okay. Now x zero is nothing but we'll say zero x okay here we'll take zero four zero three zero two zero one so why I'm taking till zero four because in integers having in this system this is Ubuntu sixty four bits so your integer value is of four bytes. So that's why I'm filling all, all four bytes. Okay. And what is the value for x1? That is 0x08, 07, 06, Okay. Got it. Now just compile it. See, our output is 010203040506040. Okay, so you, you got the example. Okay, now I'll show you another example where it is actually useful. Okay, where it can be more useful. So we'll So we will take an example of uh, a structure. Okay. Here we'll take a character C int i. Or let's say int uh, i is okay. So we'll take a simple a variable of type struct x st struct st ss. We'll just initialize it with zero, all the values, so that there won't be any garbage value. Okay. <coughs> okay. So. Now you take a, now you put inside C let's say zero so it's of one white right so we put it here here zero x 
zero one. Okay, and s dot i is equal to zero x zero x zero one zero two zero three zero four. Okay, now let's see what would be the output. So as many of you will be thinking that this structure will be saving it's continuous like first will be C then it will be I so you might have heard the concept of structure padding okay so we will see here actually the actual memory is not being distributed continuously obviously the compiler will do some padding in C okay so just we'll give you the example as size of st okay so what would, should be the output so according what we thinking it will be the output the output will be 0 x 0 1 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 let's see what is the output So the output is 0, 1, double zero, double zero. So we have not added these uh, zeros here, but compiler added because of the structure padding and 0, 4, 0, 3, 0, 2, 1, which is obvious this value. So thanks for watching my video. For more these kind of videos, you can subscribe my channel. Thank you.